Hey guys, welcome to the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Uh, this is going to be, uh, yeah, this is going to be completely brand new to me because uh, I have never played Pokemon Platinum. I, I don't think you've played Platinum either, have you? Nope. So, yeah. Uh, Scott Devin Kane here, joined by my wife Tetsy. We are going to welcome ourselves to the world of Pokemon. Everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. You and every fucking body else! <laughs> Before I go any further, this is, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly giving it. Are you sure you can? Uh, I'm pretty... I'm pretty good at being bad at this game. This world is widely, widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokeball. Here, I have a Pokeball. Good for you! Touch the button in the middle of the Poke area, if you please. Oh, you got to reach your nose! Yeah, I do. We, we humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? Stick them in my butt. I conduct research <laughs> so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Don't shake your head at me. Now, why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Look at that mustache and tell me. Are you a boy or a girl? Well, look at me, buddy. And if you can't tell the difference... It's a little hard to tell sometimes. Yeah. Alright, so you're Especially a boy. Especially with that fabulous picture of Pat. Just saying. Mm. <laughs> Fabulous. Fabulous. No. I just said that. Nope. So you're Scott? No, I do. So you're Scott? Yes. Oh, so you're Scott? Yes! Yes! A fun. That hair. Jesus Christ. Uh. Vegeta? <laughs> Jesus, I mean, look at that fucking spiky ass. No. We need something. With that spiky ass bug. It's got a, a Vegeta. <laughs> uh, no, there's no. Well, you, uh, you have something else? Uh, don't even get me started. <laughs> Vegeta, is it? That's your friend's name? Sure is. Yeah. I mean, you can't move my blah 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 blah. Yes, something. Leap into the world of Pokemon. Oh, Jesus! Pokemon are by our side always. I hope you all understand the meaning of these words. That was the comment left by Professor Rowan, who has returned to Shino from the Kanto re region. Shino. Is it? Sh I thought it was Shina. It's S I H N O. It's S I N N O H. You dyslexic piece of shit. What? <laughs> did I? Do I? Did I read that wrong? Really? Oh my god. Well, it's been pretty. It's pretty obvious that I have some sort of reading problem. I bet he'll give us a Pokemon! And give me Pokemon! Oh hey, is this a new PC? Let me touch all your shit! <sighs> if you're late, I'm finding you 10 million Poke Dollars. What is he, the fucking punctuality police? What the fuck is this shit? What does it? The X button opens the menu. Oh, yeah? How about that? What's up, MILF? I mean, Mom. Ah, oh, please, tell me. Every mom in this game's a MILF. Everyone. I don't know what that was about, but he sure wasn't a hurry. We don't ever ask what it's about when he's unhappy. Just don't. Alright, that much today's no more. 
Pokemon Spark on Pokemon. I, I want that word to come up again. That that's Sinnoh. You're so cool. Oh yes, Scott, don't go into the tall grass. Well, Pokemon might attack you. It'd be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so well, take care, sweetie. Baseball bats, they're cheaper than you Pokemon. You know, I've always loved the fact, okay? I've, I've always really loved the fact that these people live in like these four house little villages here. And the only way to get out, the only way to get out is through tall grass up here to the- I fucking know, you jackass. And the only way to get out is through the tall grass. So the only person who could possibly ever get out is this professor. So he literally is this fucking ruler of this town. <laughs> Thud. Loudly. <laughs> what was that about? Oh, hey, Scott. I'm going to see Professor Rowan. You should come too, and quickly. I would if I had running shoes. Now run quick before you sit before you Now what? I better take my bag and journal too. Hi, right, Scott. I'll be waiting on the road. Ten million fuck. Up. <laughs> if there's ever been like a traveling partner that I've had in these games that I've ever hated more, it's taken me two fucking minutes to hate this guy a lot. I mean seriously, two minutes. Two goddamn minutes, and I already hate this douche. Now which one is fucking Rowan's house? That's my house. It's all fucking Granny Hub Hub's house. Don't ask me why it's Granny Hub Hub. Okay. Too slow. Alright, let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. I'm going to the grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one. I've got an idea. But listen, you know how well. Pokemon jump out when you go to tall grass. So what you do is scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get to Sand Gem Town without running into wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. Okay, here goes. On your marks. Oh, fucking... Aw, oh, see? I thought it was Phoenix right here. God damn it. You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between. And what is the meaning of going into tall grass? See, see, Jesus Christ, I mean... He, re he really is like the emperor of this town. You're going into tall grass to do that a Pokemon? What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, hey, Scott, this old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? Well, let's go to Professor Rowan's place. This guy. This is him. Right? tried to get into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm. What to do? The world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on that path? Yes! Why are we having an existential crisis over fucking Pokemon? Yeah, no kidding! <laughs> you truly love Pokemon, do you? I don't know! I don't fucking have one, old man! I'll ask you once again, you two, you truly love Pokemon, do you? You can ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. We'll both say to him. Why is he suddenly Joey Wheeler? Shut what are you doing? Would you play oh. a game? God, yes. <laughs> this is like the longest opening ever. Again. I'm walking the tall grass. Oh, my butt. Oh, what are you doing at the lake with a briefcase? What were you doing there? <laughs> what else? 
How do you think he was able to perform, afford his Pokemon without being put in tall grass? Selling blow! A third, like a, a quarter of his age, with blow. This Pokemon are hard to replace. You sure they give them away? Hmm. Just side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people can meet Pokemon. There Let them go in the tall grass. They'll meet Pokemon. It's fun. Oh my God! Shut up! Give me my starter and fucking let's go! Oh my god, we are fucking 10 minutes into this shit! Can I please pick my starter? Christ! Oh my god! And now we have to... Alright game. Let's, let's get one thing straight here. You asked me at the beginning of this game if I needed any help and needed to know what the fuck this game was. I said no. Why are you telling me what Pokeballs are? I, I, I fucking, I, I know what Pokeballs are. Stop it, game. Stop it. Oh, God. So, we got Piplup, we have Chimchar, and we've got Turtwig. Piplup! Piplup! Do it! Do it! Do it! Bird! 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 Pinky bird! Then I choose you. I'm picking this Turtwig. Well, you, you're a dick! Listen well. And that Chimchar's like, well, fuck. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> the Pokemon you've been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they're much like you, as fellow newcomers to the world. And I hope you, you'll do well together. And not going to the tall grass. <laughs> if you have any trouble, come see me at my lab in Sand Jam Town. And now we'll be on our way. <gasps> you asshole! <laughs> you asshole! That's like a Nuzlocke thing. You gotta be able to change their name. How does that work? <sighs> Who are you calling a you? gonna be one of these guys, huh? Err, uh, my guard, with Drew. <laughs> you know, this battle really does sound like rape. Pound withdrawal, pound withdrawal, pound withdrawal. I'm doing one point of damage. Oh my god! This is terrible! I hope I get to change this pip Club's name. Oh, you've discovered what Tackle does, huh? <laughs> yeah, the problem is that he may still win. I should provide a desert prey. Oh my god. That's the worst opening battle ever. No, 500, no, 10 fucking million. <laughs> oh, 
so you were all set to go through that tall grass, but then as soon as you lost, you went running home. Yeah, no kidding. What about that to you two? You know, that's six that again. That level two six again. What would have done to you? The level two. It would have pounded you. It would have been terrible. You're creepy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get your own Pokemon. Talk about be so threatening. Running shoes? Thank you. Thank God. Let me read the instructions of something else that I know how to use. <laughs> Damn. Oops. Oh, yeah. Uh, I do have some options to change. Uh, check speed needs to be fast. Battle scene off. Shift set. And we should be good. Make sure that that does that. Saving a lot of data. Oh, my God. I'm not kidding. So much safe. Ready safe. Big fun. Jesus. Handle it. <laughs> God damn. Many files. <laughs> right side. What's up, dude? You're off to hang with Vegeta again, right? You two sure are tight. Gross. <laughs> Gross. Gross. God damn it. <laughs> you thought you were gonna get one, bro. That lake where we always play at, you know, they say the legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it. Let's catch that Pokemon. Guess that'll make Professor Rowan happy. I'm sure of that. You and me, t me and you together, we've got nothing to fear. See, I, I keep saying shit backwards. What the fuck? Why do I have this little Pikachu behind me? <laughs> According to Legend, blah blah blah. Alright, we're at the lake. Here it is, we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me in this one, it's here. It even says so on the sign. It's gonna be like a Jigglypuff or something. The flowing time. The expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep while you can. The legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. Allow me to pass. Step aside. What was that about? Weird guy. <laughs> okay, Scott, let's catch that legendary Pokemon. Your Pokemon crying. It had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. Wait, what? We don't have anything on us. You know, Pokeballs. P O K accent E balls. P O K accent E. What the fuck is wrong with this game already? Maybe Professor Roman gave us some if we asked, you know? Remember what he said, didn't you? to visit him at the lab if we need anything. Okay, Scott, I'll race you. First on the professor's lab in San Gentown Rules. Bet it's you, because I'm going to come up here and look around. Because you're a dick. But you don't have any Pokemon. I don't care. Uh, I'm still distraught of not being able to change the name of this Piplup. I don't know if I'm allowed to keep it. Because it's not... It, its name hasn't changed. Sup? The other time, yes. We've been over this. <laughs> Talk to everybody. Pokemon's health, that is HP, is low. You should go home and get some rest. Don't use Pokemon centers. Those are bad. So what 
what if Pokemon Centers actually do charge, but they send they send the bill home to your mother, and she never actually tells you because she doesn't want you to have to face the harsh realities of life. You get to be the Pokemon League champion. You go home. Congratulations, son. Now we have this to talk about. <laughs> We've I've lost my house because of you. <laughs> We've lost everything. I couldn't feed the dog. We lost the dog because of your fucking Pokemon. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, hey, it's dawn. Oh, there you are. Please, come with me. The professor's waiting. Oh, huh, I know where this is going. Wait, come with me. It's right here. Really? Dud! Emphatically! Uh, it doesn't matter, so I'm out of here. See you later. Uh, the legendary Pokemon's that way. What? <laughs> yeah. This really has been the strangest Pokemon I've ever fucking played. Ever! And I am literally. <laughs> Clearly. Really impatient. Vegeta seems really impatient. Well, named that pretty good, didn't I? Well, well, look who's here. Scott, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. I haven't done anything. He seems to be rather happy. I'm trusting you with that pup lip. There's no mistake, it seems. Pip. Oh, there we go! Yes, I would like to give it a nickname. So, uh... Panky Bird! I am not naming it Panky Bird. Ha! Cat food! Stop. Stop it. <laughs> cat food is not Piplup. Look! Or, look! I said cat food and the cat came out. It's not cat food. Alright, so we need... It's what? It's Piplup. What's, what's its last evolution? Pelastorm. <laughs> Back in Pelastorm. What the hell? I can't remember. It was like Emperor Penguin or something like that. Or Empyrean or something like that? Or. Goes to Emporian. Or Empyrean? Empoleon. Empoleon. Like, I remember it's like an Emperor Penguin or something like that. So it's an emperor penguin to end it, so an emperor. Name it Nero. Nero was an emperor, wasn't he? Wasn't he? You're looking at the picture. Well I know what it is. I mean I'm naming it Nero. Okay, you got something better? I'm not naming it fucking Pangy Bird. Pangy Bird! I'm not naming this fucking thing Pangy Bird. Pangy Bird! See, that's just, it's so dumb. Pangy Bird! <sighs> Pangy Bird! It doesn't even fit. It does too. Shh. Oh my god, Pangy Bird. There you go, Pinky Bird. That was with a B U R D. It's Pinky Bird. Pinky Bird. God damn it! I'm so sorry, guys. I'm naming the next one. <laughs> Until I whine more. No. What? When I first saw you two about to step into the tall grass, we're going on about the fucking tall grass again. Oh my god! I was stunned by these full-hearted children. Now you just stunned me in an entirely different way because you didn't go into the tall grass. I was astounded by how stupid. There's already a bond growing between you and your Pokemon because you've had one battle. And named it Pengy Bird. And named it Pengy Bird. I feel Piplup feels the same way about you. That's why I asked you to cherish that Piplup of yours. I'll cherish it. Stupid. I'd have to. Oh, I just can't say it. 
If you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I just can't say it. Chop off your paws. Ahem. Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. I'm going to properly introduce myself for... Oh my god, game. Oh my god. This is fucking Professor Rowan. I know who the fuck he is. I didn't know who he was before starting this game. He's fucking Professor Rowan. Jesus Christ. Hey, 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 hey. Sinnoh. Hey, Son of a bitch. <laughs> <sighs> to do so, it's necessary to collect all the data used in the deck and poke. This is what I... <laughs> Sure. Good answer. Do you want this thing for free? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Scott asks that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. When you walked up to Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? <laughs> with you there? With you there, baby? You want to know what I feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Ah, gross. Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. The Grand Adventure is right behind you. The Chimchar. You have chosen Chimchar. You have to the same Pokemon now. Not that that matters, but anyway, I'm gone. I also have the Professor add pages to the Pokemon. So in a sense, I'm just like you. A little hand stuck in here, so I'll be happy to teach you if you guys can make Hey, I was here about Pokeballs. I was here about Pokeballs. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I don't care what your name is. Pokeballs? Uh, <laughs> Pokeballs. Son of a bitch. Bitch, you already got a freebie. I got a TM before I got poopy balls. You should be friendly and put your hands up to you, of course, you're running into your house, and you have to do it to be fun with it, but it's fun. Quite a bit more experience than you as a trainer as a professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. Oh god, please don't teach me how to catch Pokemon. Yes. <laughs> I, I really. I. I'm sorry, but that'll do it for this episode of the Nuzlocke Challenge. We did nothing. Pangy Bird! Okay, we nicknamed the fucking Piplop. We did nothing in this whole episode. Not by choice, mind you. Just by the fact that this fucking game never shut up. So apparently in episode 2, this is when we're actually going to get to start doing things. So, whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Not on the merits of this video, but on my other ones. And, uh, leave a thumb... And leave a thumbs up, I guess? And maybe my... Maybe our commentary was enough for a thumbs up? Yay? And, uh, leave a comment below. And whatever, but, uh... Don't go in the tall grass! Yeah, right? So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you on the next episode of, uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke. Take it easy, guys.